I don't think at any, any time I, I will step away from the day-to-day, -day, really. I'll still have my fingers in something. And it might be a different project, it might be something new. I mean, I don't know, but I will not stop working on a daily basis um, and being part of the team. We've always talked about wanting to work together. And the thing on how Don runs is Don runs his business very differently than most uh, than most entrepreneurs, but it's ultimately because the end goal is to create more young chefs and young culinarians. And myself and him, we share a similar sentiments on that subject. I'm thinking of, I just, I am, I'm still digesting it. That's, you'll know, you'll know I'll have my answer. I think when I was younger and, and uh, we grew up in the country, in southern Ontario and you know single mom and five kids it was tough. I know what it's like to to be in those positions where you 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 don't get those opportunities you have to actually go out there and create them and for me I, I want to look at that population we have a large population in Canada that just don't get those opportunities and I want to be able to facilitate that and we can do that through culinary education. Good day sir, how are you? Good. Is it separated into bags? Yeah, they separated. So we can just use them later. Obviously, Ruben doesn't. <laughs> he trains at risk students, people who can't afford to go to culinary school, which is very expensive, people who would otherwise have barriers to entering the industry. So, what he's doing is, is important for the students that he's reaching, but it's also important for the entire industry. I worked hard to get where I am and now I choose, you can either choose to put the money in your bank account and do the things that you want to do, or you can choose to take, to take that money and invest in people and support them so they learn something. That's kind of what we do. We support them and give them a skill set where they would not really be able to, to get that education because really the schools are too expensive. Here in Canada, there's, there's a lot of people that don't get those opportunities and I want to open the door and let them have those opportunities and then hopefully get them employed and then develop that mentorship between the industry and the students in the program that we lost about 20 years ago. I won't change the pricing based on the fact that we got popular because I'm not like a lot of other restaurateurs out there. I will not do that just to make money. I'm interested in giving a good product to the customer for a great value and in end, the money that we generate goes to a great cause, which is the school. And some of them may never understand this or never know this, but every, every dollar that, that, that they spend out there helps us and supports us with what we're doing with the training program.